Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number In this tutorial we're going to cover numbers up to 19 and we're going to do subtraction questions So let's have a look at the first question we're going to we're going to be working through. Now suppose you have this 18 minus something equals 7. 18 minus something equals 7. Now I'm sure you can probably count from 18 back to 7 to come out of the answer but we're going to do this using mental arithmetic. We want to know how to do this using mental arithmetic so that when we get larger numbers we'll be able to use this method to do it. So over here let's write down 18. This is the number we're starting off with, 18. We have to take some numbers away until we are left with num uh, until we are left with 7. Now what we do is we find a halfway point and that is 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 18 back to 10 and also 10 back to 7. So it's two parts to this question. We've split it into two, two parts. Now you can either count backwards this way or you can count forwards in this way. It will still give you the same answer. So let's do the second part first. 10 back to 7. So what number added to 7 gives us 10? Now we know from our number bonds the number added to 7 to give 10 is 3. So from 7 to 10 is 3. Now we'll do the first part. 10 to 18. Well that's nice and easy. It's simply the units over there which is 8. And there we have it. We've got 8 and we've got 3. So what is 8 plus 3? 8 plus 3 is 11. And that is our answer. 18 minus 11 equals 7. And we did that by separating the question into two parts. We stopped at the 10, as we always do, and then we carried on to the number we had to find, which was 7. So that is the first question we've looked at. Now we're going to have a look at the second question. Now suppose you have this something, so now we have to find the first number, minus 9 equals 17. Oops, actually not 17. We've got that slightly wrong. Something minus 9 equals 7, because we're doing numbers up to 19. So something minus 9 equals 7. Now how do we do this? Well, do you remember when we did find the missing number with numbers up to 15? There was a little trick to this which helped us find the answer. Do you know what that was? Well, let's work through this. We have to find out this number minus which we end up with 7. So what we can do is we can move this number onto that side. So the question then becomes something equals the 7 we have here plus 9. So what is 7 plus 9? 7 plus 9 is the same as 9 plus 7. 9 plus 7 is 16. And that is our answer. 16 minus 9 equals 7. Now did you see what we did? We took this number here, the 9, and we moved it over here. And we added a plus. So the box here became 7 plus 9. That's a little trick which you should be aware of when you're trying to find the first number where you have to subtract. Let's have a look at one more. Now suppose we have something minus, we'll do a larger number here, we'll do 
12 equals 5. Something minus 12 equals 5. So using the same method, what we're going to do is we're going to move this 12 to over here. And we're going to add a plus sign. So therefore, the something equals 5 plus 12. It's the same as, you can swap these numbers around, it's 12 plus 5. So 5 plus 12, 12 plus 5 is the same thing. So 12 plus 5 is 17. And it's as simple as that. Always remember this trick. And as we've said again and again, you can do this when there is a minus in the question and you're trying to find the first number. So that is how we do find the missing number with numbers up to 19 with subtraction questions.